Many people have been asking how I make YouTube videos with AI tools. Well, today's the day I reveal my secret process. In this video, I'll show you the exact workflow I've used to get over 1.9 million YouTube views using these tools. I'll link all the tools in the description below and even reveal how much money I've made from these AI videos. So let's dive in. So I started this experiment back in December 2022, and since then, I've made around 19 videos with this process and I've gained around 15,000 subscribers. Now I did have some old videos on my channel already, so it's hard to separate the analytics. That's why I put everything into a handy spreadsheet to break it down. You can see my top video got around 580,000 views. Now, not all the videos did that well. The one with the least had around 3,000 views. But there were about 8 videos that got over 100,000 views each, which is really impressive in my opinion. But views alone don't pay the bills. What really matters is how much money these videos generated. Well, I'm excited to share that my top video made $6,800. And even the lowest performing video still made some money. All in all, I made around $20,000, which is a great return for the time invested. Keep in mind, YouTube isn't my full-time gig. I'm really just using it to document what I'm learning. I have even tried to monetize the channel beyond AdSense like selling ebooks and online courses. But with results like these, maybe I should focus on it more. The point is, you really can build a solid income stream on YouTube using the workflow I'll show you. So without further ado, let's jump into step one. The first step is coming up with a winning video idea. What I look for are trending topics that don't have too much competition. Here's how I find them. First, I'll check Twitter to see what posts are getting a lot of engagement lately. This gives me a sense of what's trending right now. Next, I'll head over to Google Trends. I'll filter it to just the United States in the last 90 days. This shows me if this topic is a flash in the pan or a longer term trend. I'll also filter to YouTube search to see if this topic is trending on YouTube since that's where I'll be publishing. If I see a topic trending up in both places, that's a good first sign. Then comes the final check. How competitive is this topic? To find out, I use vidIQ. I just pop in my keyword and it tells me if it's low competition or not. If it is, that's the green light to move forward. That's how easy it is to find a winning video idea for YouTube. All right, now that we have our viral video concept, it's time to dig in and do some research. Since I make tutorial style videos, this just means figuring out the process for whatever topic I'm covering. I'll open up my laptop, search around, and try to walk through the steps from start to finish. As I go, I jot down everything in a Google Doc, all the steps, tips, interesting facts, etc. This research phase is so important because it makes putting together the actual video infinitely easier. I don't want to be figuring out what to say and do on the fly. The next step is writing the script, which is where ChatGPT comes in handy. After doing my research, I'll open up ChatGPT on my phone and use the voice recording feature to recap all my notes from the research phase. Based on that input, I'll ask ChatGPT to write me a catchy video title and write the full video script. To speed things up, I have custom instructions set up so I don't have to specify the format or style every time. With those instructions, the script writing goes so smoothly. ChatGPT perfectly organizes all my research into a compelling, easy-to-follow video. If you aren't familiar with setting up custom instructions in ChatGPT, no worries. I have a video linked below that walks through the whole process step by step. All right, script is done, and now it's time to record the actual video. For this, I use a program called Camtasia. Camtasia isn't as well known as some other video editors, but it's a screen recorder and video editor in one, so it's very easy to use. I'll put a link in the description if you want to try it out for free. The next step in my process is creating the AI voiceover, and for this I use Wellside Labs. It's one of the best AI voiceover tools out there. Now I know what you may be thinking. Why would I need an AI voice if I'm a native English speaker? Good question. There are a few reasons I like using it. For one, I work from home so it's hard to always have a perfectly quiet environment. AI voices don't have any background noise, that's a huge advantage. It's also difficult to keep full energy in your voice at all times when recording voiceovers. This AI is programmed to sound consistently engaging. And finally, I think AI voices are an awesome option if you're a non-native speaker or have a strong accent. Don't let that stop you from making YouTube videos. This AI tool can give you a clear mainstream voiceover. If you haven't already noticed, the voiceover you're listening to now was generated by AI. 
I'll put a link to Wellside Labs in the description if you want to try it out for free. Finally, I download that audio and merge it with the screencast in Camtasia. I add some finishing editing touches and voila, my video is complete. That wraps up this video. But this is a quickly changing space, so be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos to stay updated. Thanks for watching.